Hi, in this video we are going to do an example of a derivative. So the problem we're going to be doing is we're going to find the derivative of the natural log of x plus 1 over x minus 1, so the natural log of all of this. And I have the solutions here. This is an example from my book, Calculus Beta. So in a problem like this, because we have the natural log of a quotient, what you want to do is you first want to use what's called the quotient rule for logarithms. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down first, and then we'll go through and, and we'll work through it. So I'm going to write it, um, actually, I'm going to write it down here. So if you have the natural log of a over b, okay, a and b here are positive numbers, okay, uh, this is equal to the natural log of a minus the natural log of b. And if you're wondering why they have to be positive, it's because uh, the domain of the logarithm is just positive numbers. All right, so in this particular example, we'll start by basically rewriting our function. So this is equal to the natural log of x plus 1 minus the natural log of x minus 1. Just like that. Really nice. And now we can take the derivative. So the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Okay, so that's a formula that we'll need in this problem. This is equal to 1 over x. In this particular case, though, we don't have x. We have x plus 1 and x minus 1. So we have to use the chain rule. Okay, so taking the derivative, I'll do it here. The derivative of the natural log of x plus 1 is going to be 1 over x plus 1 times the derivative of the inside function. The inside function in this case is x plus 1, so its derivative is simply 1. You might say, well, you don't need to do that. Yes, you do, right? If this had been 2x plus 1, then we would have had a 2 here. So very common mistake uh, is that people get overconfident and forget to use the chain rule. So use it when necessary. Minus 1 over x minus 1 times the derivative of the inside function, which again, the derivative of x minus 1 is 1, because the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of a constant is 0. And that's pretty good. We just kind of want to get rid of the 1, so I'm just going to erase them and write it again. f prime of x is equal to 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. And that should be the final answer. I'm going to check it because I have the answers here. This book has, all my books have full solutions to every single problem. Actually, this is interesting. I'm glad I checked the book. So in my book, I take it a step further. So let's actually keep going and simplify it like the book does. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this over here. And we're going to go a little bit further with this example. So you could, you could leave it like this, right? You could certainly leave it like this, but I just want to show you what if you wanted to combine it into a single term. Let me show you how to do that. So let's come back over here. f prime of x is equal to 1 over x plus 1 minus, and then it's 1 over x minus 1. OK, so watch this. What we can do is we can find a common denominator, right? The common denominator is going to be x plus 1, x minus 1. I'm going to show you the fastest way to do it. Watch this. And it's going to be 1 times, well, what's missing here to get the common denominator? You're missing an x minus 1, so it's 1 times what's missing. Minus 1 times, well, what's missing here? What do you need here to get the common denominator? You need an x plus 1, so it's 1 times x plus 1, just like that. Let's keep going. 1 times x minus 1 is simply x minus 1. There's a minus 1 here, so we can distribute. So minus x minus 1 over, this is the difference of squares, right? x, x plus 1 times x minus 1 is x squared minus 1. Beautiful. These cancel. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Let's not mess up there. <laughs> it happens, right? Mathematics is, whoop, whoop, whoop. Mathematics is one of those things. You can get to the very end of a, of a problem, and you can, you can say, you know, 1 plus 1 is 3, and game over. Very unforgiving. And that should be the final answer. I'm going to check my book to make sure it is, give it a whiff. 
Yes, that is the correct answer. Kind of interesting, right? So you could stop here. It's not necessary to do all this, but uh, in the book, I decided to go a little bit farther just to show you that you can. So kind of interesting. I hope it's been helpful. Stay strong, my friends.